burly so Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today we're going to take another look at the PE770. Last video I showed you what was in the box. Now let's take it out and get it working for us. Alright, the first thing that you're going to want to do is remove the tape that comes on here to hold things in place like the carriage here. Uh, they also have a piece of paper taped over the bobbin area that tells you that it was inspected by somebody and you can see that in a couple different languages um, the mistake that I made here and you'll see it is I have the carriage attached to the machine and because of that I got a little confused when taking off this tape and for some reason thought that it was running inside of the the bobbin housing there and it's not um, so you'll see me here struggle slightly. I thought I'd keep it in just to show you. I thought it was kind of humorous that I got so easily confused. But I even look underneath here and that's okay because you have to take that plate off anyway. But then I finally figure it out and I can see that the tape is just running down the side there. But as I mentioned, you want to take that bobbin plate off anyway because one of the things you want to do when you're setting up is make sure that your bobbin case is aligned properly with the machine and I'll zoom in here so that you can see that and there's gonna be a little uh, little white triangle you can see there and a white dot and you want to make sure that those are lined up and if they're not you just need to give the bobbin case a little twist and you'll be good to go So now that you've got the tape off and you've made sure that the bobbin case is aligned properly, you can go ahead and put your bobbin plate back on. All right, so now when we look on the side here, you can see where the power plugs in and then you have the power toggle above that. And then off to the left here, you have a slot for embroidery media discs you can buy preloaded with designs or you can hook it up USB to a flash drive or your PC or laptop or whatever to transfer files over. All right, now we got the machine all plugged in. I'll pull up the fancy little cover here so you can see what's underneath there and turn the machine on. And you can see it comes to life with a little brother logo there and it tells you To touch the display and then it warns you that the carriage is gonna move uh, you can see I still got a piece of tape on there probably should have took that off by this point but we're not doing any embroidery at this time so I'll go ahead and remove that in a second but now you can see the machines on and you can see the work area on the LCD panel on the right the touch display and the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove that piece of tape and then we'll go ahead after that and check the needle to make sure that it's tight. Uh, you can replace the needle if you want. I, I guess I'm trusting the factory on this one. If it feels tight, I'm just going to go with it. Some people like to reinsert the needle at least or put a new one in. It's up to you. And then you can see now I'm going to go ahead and put a flash drive in here. Uh, this is a 16 gigabyte flash drive. I've got, I don't know, a couple hundred maybe embroidery files on it so it'll, it'll take a minute to load but once it loads it'll pop up and show you all of your files you can just scroll through them and you'll be able to choose your embroidery design right from a thumb drive which is pretty nice I think if you have an older version of this machine and you haven't had success with the thumb drive there's a firmware update 
And what I'll try to do in an upcoming video is show you how to do the firmware update and check the version of your machine. But this is just to get this machine sewing out of the box. And I'm probably going one step further using this thumb drive than the, the stock designs. But um, I wanted to show you that function. And now you can see I picked a design and I'm just paging through the different elements of the design. Um, in other videos, I'll show you how to do that and if you check my channel you can see on the SE 400 um, I show how to go through and check the different colors so next I'm gonna go ahead and thread the machine and I've got my embroidery thread on there and the little spool cover and I'm using the smallest spool cover and when you put it on like that you want to make sure that the threads not caught between the spool and the spool cover but now you just lay in your threading and you just follow the directions one through that slot and then down and around and up and now I'm going back down again so you follow one through two and you can see three here at the bottom and I'm gonna fish it up again through four and then it's just gonna lay straight down and you might be able to see I'm hold I was holding it with my right finger there to help keep it taut it makes it a little easier to thread when you've got a tension on it but now we've got it down through five here and six is this little this little finger that attaches right above the needle that will help keep the thread tight to the needle while it's going up and down and then you'll feed it through that little catch and then through seven and now you'll be able to thread it with the little lever on the left you'll pull it down and it'll snap into place a lot different threading action than on the SE 400 it just it's very quick and you'll see that here in a second when you pull it down it just snaps the thread in there and it's threaded and then you'll pull it out uh, I'll even play it in slow motion so that you can see it here but on the brother SE 400 it's a much slower uh, action which I kind of like better so um, as long as the, the, the machines threaded who cares right but uh, I do prefer prefer the other way better um, now we're going to go ahead and thread the bobbin. It's very very simple. Just follow the directions on the plate there. Thread coming off of the bobbin counterclockwise, and then it, it rides that little channel, and then you can cut it off at the end, and then replace the plate. And I've got videos on how to thread the bobbin. It's exactly the same as the SE400. Moving on now to the hoop. Uh, it's a seven, a five by seven inch hoop, so you got a lot more surface area when you're embroidering than the four by four hoop that comes with. Uh, some of the other machines but you can see I've got a piece of cloth here it's just some broadcloth with a medium weight tear away stabilizer on the back that I use some spray adhesive to keep in place and I'm gonna put that I'm gonna hoop this material and we're gonna we're gonna give it a test run to see what kind of job it does stitching uh, right out of the box now like I said this is one of my designs that I had pre-downloaded or I don't know if I created this one or picked it up free somewhere. Um, I do have videos out there how to create some embroidery designs, so check out my channel. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see what it's like. I kind of wish for this purpose I would have used a factory design, but you know they're pretty. The factory designs that come preloaded on the machine are all pretty high quality, so I I don't really have any concern there. Um, now I can shut my fancy lid, drop my presser foot. Hit the green button, and that's it. So we've got it threaded on the top, threaded on the bottom. We've got our design loaded. We started it. Now we're stopping it to trim off our excess piece here from our first thread. And it's pretty simple. Uh, out of the box and embroidering in maybe five, ten minutes. Not bad at all. Um, but we'll go ahead and trim this thread, and then we'll... We'll let it run and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Alright, so as this is running here, I just want to kind of bring up a couple other points in comparison to maybe other machines, particularly the SE400. Um, the one thing about this machine that I don't care for so far is how the hoop attaches to the carriage. Um, on this one, the there's little buttons that go into the little keyholes or little little slots, little bays, and that's how they connect to one another. On this machine, the buttons are 
on the carriage. On the SE400, the buttons are on the hoop. I find that trying to get this hoop on sometimes takes a little finagling. So um, other than that and the threading, really, it seems to be a great machine. You can see our little cat design here is turning out quite well. Um, like I said, it's not a factory design. It's one that I had, but uh, I know what it looks like and what it's supposed to look like. And this one's turned out pretty good. So I, I give this machine a thumbs up. It's easy to set up and get running. Check out the channel for other videos. I've got all sorts of sewing videos, embroidery videos. If you like what you saw, please share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Purified, and thanks for watching Burley So.